I watched this uh, um, CNN show on WikiLeaks. Now, naturally, is CNN saying anything about the truth in the news lately? <laughs> I don't think so. I am not seeing the truth reported on CNN. So CNN will view WikiLeaks from their biased perspective. And that's what the news is. The news, when it first started coming out, this guy was, this this teacher, professor, was saying the news is actually the news. <laughs> because it's like, what biased viewpoint do these professionals think is relevant and report to the rest of the world? And they don't really realize that they're creating the news instead of reporting the news. Um, which CNN is calling Julian Assange, like, putting at risk, you know, human life. That what he's doing is extremely dangerous and wrong. And it's like CNN doesn't realize that they're, he, they're, they're viewing from their biased perspective, their own reflection of themselves, because that's exactly what CNN is doing. The news that CNN is reporting is actually manipulating people into being suicide bombers for a corporate structure and not reporting who's profiting off war, what's the real story, what's the causes. You know, there's zero information that you're getting from any war that makes you see we need to get the actual criminals. I mean, they're not even saying it. There's so many questions about 9-11 that aren't answered, but CNN doesn't even have the questions. You know, how come the population has questions, but the media, CNN, is not reporting the answers to the questions we have? <laughs> because they're biased and wants to put people's lives at risk and manipulate everybody into going to war and being, you know, mass killers. You, you cannot manipulate people to kill another human being unless you lie to them. You got to give them a motivation to go and kill another human being. You got to make them think that if you don't kill this person, they're going to kill you. And that's, you know, CNN is actually putting thousands of people's lives. They, they, CNN is responsible for the mass murder on the planet, and yet they view Julian Assange as saying the truth, information is going to put some people's lives at risk, which is never proven yet. But is Julian Assange just equally as guilty? Yes. In the same interview, um, or news piece they had, he was he was saying, hey, look it, if they're if bad people are you know murdering other people and good information puts their life at risk, then they deserve to die. And it's like uh, 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 you're just as guilty. If the golden rule is you're sane when nobody dies, then you're on the right path. But as long as you're accepting death someplace, you're, you've turned into your enemy. So while Julian Assange is going after this as um, trying to protect the rights for the little guy, where CNN, you know, is like saying he has no empathy for people. And it's like, this guy's only acting because of empathy. He feels the pain of everybody on the bottom suffering while CNN is feeling the pain of everybody on the top that's going to suffer from the truth getting out. So it's like CNN has no empathy for all of the mass murdering people that they lead down the path. But, you know, Julian Assange should be the bad guy. And that's the war that's going on in every war, is we're not seeing ourselves in our own enemy. Because chances are, the way they're behaving and you don't like, you're behaving in the same way and can't even recognize you're doing the same thing they are. You know, if somebody's bombing you, well, take a look. Are you bombing them? <laughs> you know, like... Um, so... I, I, another point I wanted to make, too, is in this WikiLeaks... Um, information is powerful. You know, you got to just know what the bullshit is and, and how to read it. That's all. Trust yourself. When you know how, you know, if you have a good rule, you can see what's bullshit and what's not. And as soon as you have this rule that says anybody who's dying from the cause of that belief that this person has, 
then you're wrong. So it's an easy rule to, to live by and you can see truth right away it, and, and trust in it. And when I see uh, Hillary Clinton make this statement that got leaked in WikiLeaks is that she was questioning how another president was handling their stress. Meaning that um, in order for Hillary to recognize somebody is living in a stressful situation means she experiences stress, but she's the master at handling stress. That is the insanity right there. Because what if stress equals your personal insanity, the rules you live by are creating a stressful life, um, then how you manage everything that's wrong. If, 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 if in order for you to experience stress means you are doing something wrong, being somebody that's hypersensitive and can't handle stress, I can tell that if I go and do that action and I get stressful, I know that that action is actually harmful to me. So you have to get to that point where you're almost near your own freaking death to see that ah, it's the stress that's killing me. We all know that most illnesses are caused by stress. So stress should be in your face as not a good thing. It's sort of like pain. It's your guide to saying something's a little wrong with your belief systems that you live by. If you live a life that's stressful. And you can say, oh, being a leader is stressful. Yeah, being a leader that has absolutely no answers would be a little stressful. <laughs> but that is your, your wake up is if you are in a stressful situation, even being a leader then you don't have all of the answers. So managing all of the the wrong information is going to be a little stressful. So I kind of, you know, love, love, love hearing that uh, Hillary is questioning somebody else, you know, how they're handling their stress. It's like, Hillary, how are you handling your stress? And why are you handling stress? You know, why don't you get some good answers? It's a lot less stressful, you know, but if you want to do things wrong all the time and always have to worry about getting caught doing the wrong thing, that's got to be a little stressful. <laughs> but Hillary, if you can manage your stress, if you have this life rule that says, I know how to manage stress, then all you're doing is creating this rule that says I'm going to live my life in a way I know is going to do me harm. It'll kill me in the end and it's going to kill my family. It's going to kill my daughter. I'm training my daughter to be just like her mother because her mother is so freaking smart, right? So you want your daughter to be just as smart as you, which is I want my daughter to be just as insane as me. I'll pay her, you know, I'll reward her in every way, shape. I'll discipline her until she's just like her mother. Um, which is, you know, how to handle stress, how to do everything wrong and love it <laughs> and think you're smart while you're doing it. And it's like, I never seen so much insanity in, in, in such highly educated people. Um, it's bringing comedy to my life because I do find it rather funny. It is at the cost of human life. So it does need to be stopped. Um, but you know, don't they want the cure to their own insanity? Don't they want to be smart? I think they want to be smart. They just don't have the tools. You know, it, it's the same with all geniuses. They always think they're right no matter how wrong they are. You know, but as soon as they open up to, oh, I could be wrong, what could be right, then they'll get better answers. But as long as they think they're the ones that know all of the answers, <laughs> they're going to be creating their own death. But we can just let them kill themselves and not allow their actions to kill us. You're only susceptible to illnesses and diseases and um, you know everything that's wrong if you allow it to but you don't have to if you're not susceptible to it you can transform anything that they throw at you into something positive you do have that power if you don't live a stressful life <laughs> live as stress-free as possible and then you know you're on a, a better track for yourself you're developing good rules for yourself and rules that will ultimately has to end up in success. You have to trust in that. Doing the right thing will always result in the right right response. It's karma. Peace out.